Well, hello today from uh, Bowl of the Woods Logging. Today I'm going to make a video uh, teaching you folks how to sharpen a chainsaw. I've got my 572 XP here using a 730 seconds file. Let's look here. There's my 572 XP right there teach you how to sharpen a saw now you see the tooth here see that tooth there's a line on the top of the tooth can you see that line camera keeps there you see that line that's the line you want to, that's the angle you want to keep when you're filing, trying to maintain that angle of the tooth there. Let's see if we can get this set up here. When I'm filing, you got to file left handed and right handed. So, if you're naturally right-handed, which most people are, if you're naturally right-handed, which most people are, you're going to push harder with your right hand. So, when you're filing at left hand, file two more swipes off of the tooth. So, if you file five swipes off of it right-handed, file it seven swipes off of it left-handed, and then it should, by the time you get the towards the end of the life of the chain it should be even I'm not cutting left or right one way uh, let's see get this phone propped up here and I'll file it I'll we'll file it left handed first so you can see me. You gotta, I just always put pressure down on the top of the saw, like so, and then I file it. Taking five swipes. And go at your own pace. The slower you go, if you're new at this, the better and more accurate you're going to keep that angle. But I've been doing it for a while, so... I can file it a little faster. Go like this. This is a good little tip. Every now and then, smack the file on the chain and it knocks those filings shavings out of there and you can get a better file on your tooth the file will bite bite in the chain better and if you have your chain too loose when you're filing, it's 
just going to pull the chain all over to the side and flop the chain off the side like that. Now we got to file it right handed. It's set up over here. All right. Now we have to file it right here. Now, the best thing to do, as soon as your saw starts getting dull, as soon as it starts getting dull, stop what you're doing and file it. Then you only have to file a couple swipes off each tooth to get it back to nice and sharp. And it's better for the chain. If you run it until the saw is duller and fuck, then, then you're just going to file your arm off. It's going to take forever to get the saw filed. And you probably won't ever get it cutting good again. So that's a good little tip. And I, I twist my file a little bit when I'm, I'm trying to make a little better groove for the cut with. There we go. Now you can take the flat file right here and you can file these teeth. They are called the rakers. Don't file them too much or your saw is going to jump all over the place. I usually don't touch those rakers until my chain's about a third of the way done. Then I'll take them down a swipe and then I'll run it for you know probably five more filings and then I'll take it down one more swipe once full swipe per two they make gauges and stuff you can use but I I never use them my saw cuts off you know how to file it and do it correctly, you don't need a gauge. Just a waste of time. And then you turn it around file it on the other side I used the full chain for cutting down with there's way more teeth on the side I think there's 28 teeth to the side on a two-foot bar if I'm not mistaken Compared to a full skip chain, you got 14 teeth to a side. And I use the full skip chain on my landing saws. Because you're more apt to dog your landing saw. Dragging the trees through the mud. And rocks. And caught up in the bark. Even if you try to be careful. 
sometimes you still dull your saw at the land. That's how you file a chainsaw. Any questions? If you have any questions, just uh, leave your comments in the link below there, or in the comment box below. I appreciate uh, all my followers. Thanks for watching Bowl of the Woods logging videos. Hopefully I can be of some help for you and make some exciting videos. Uh, you guys have a nice day. I'm going to go cut a few trees. Thank you.